taking the metro from Porto de Orleans, which is not far from where I'm staying, to uh, Raspau. And then I, I change for the number six screen metro to um, stop my bleeding. Station. So I've had to go from six to four. Now the metro station from Paris are all color coded. So four is purple and green is six. I've got like two minutes to the first train to go to Cassie, and I've been walking distance to work. Delita lived with her was her first husband, I believe. Yes. Oh my god, if you look over there, that's a Serbian embassy. I was in Serbia three to five days ago. Love to all my Serbian pals out there. Havala! Oh, I wanted the view to go to the Eiffel Tower just by walking through the park. Very impressive, hey? That's my like fourth time I've seen the Eiffel Tower in my life. I actually called my mom from there two years ago before I got on the plane to print it. About 10 o'clock right now. I just ordered crepes and, and uh, flat white in uh, French because when I was in high school, I learned French for a year and I wanted to learn it for another two years, but my mother discouraged me to do it because she'd want me to do cooking. And that's why I did it, and I work in the hotel industry, thanks for that. Now, I do have some French ancestry. It's on my mother's side. My mom's from New Zealand. All right, and her father was, you know, funny thing was she was born, so he was born Charles Buttermore, but then his biological father pissed off Australia, and then he adopted his stepfather's surname of Gardner. But my mom told me that my grandfather probably he did have a. I think he must have had a French grandmother or something. Yeah, a f French grandmother who emigrated to New Zealand in the 19th century. I'll have to like look that up. It's just sometimes I ask my mom about this, and uh, she never really tells me like, like a clear picture. She always just says, "Oh, that was your yeah, your grandfather's uh, side. He had a French grandmother." Uh, so it probably means if I was to look that up, I would, would could probably find French relatives somewhere in France, I believe. But uh, every time I look into relatives of mine in other countries, it just gets ugly. Like, I don't talk to my father's family anymore in Middlesbrough because I fell up with them after my grandmother died. And there were, like, relatives of mine in Scotland who never had the decency to visit me when I was in Glasgow, even though I, I told them the truth that their, their grandmother or their father was related to my grandfather Peter who emigrated to England from Scotland. So, I'm on my way to Patsy's Cemetery and it looks like I'm getting quite close there. I mean, one thing I like about cemeteries in, in Paris is that basically all the buildings tend to like you snake around them. It does make it like hard to get into, but you know, you get there in the end. Now, if you want to live in Paris, what I've heard is those top windows up there, like this top apartments, those are the cheapest. And most of these apartments, they don't have elevators, so that's why, you know, French people are quite fit, because they have to walk up stairs. Now, I once saw an apartment for rent in Paris, just a bit like this. It, it was basically just a room and a sink. There was, like, no bathroom. You had to go down the hall to use the bathroom, to use the toilet. That's about it. That's the price you get for about 500 euros a month. So it's what I pay in London. Yeah, I am Cemetery de Passy, about 1820. Um, oh yes, there's just a map right there. So maybe it'll tell me where a few famous people are buried. Uh, that's a 
okay, you know, I'll easily find who I'm looking for. Need to make sure I know what the grave is. I mean, I've already seen the grave of Thou Die in the photograph and the Shah of Iran's daughter. So, he shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, what a great place to be buried. I mean, forget Pierre Lachey. You've got the views of the Eiffel Tower for all eternity. Hmm. That man here, he, he served in the war, so he's got a lot of medals. George Lakovsky. Must be a big famous person here in this country. More war heroes right here. Um, yeah, the cemetery, it doesn't matter what your faith is, if you, you know, you're Christian, you're Russian, Orthodox, Jewish, go together. You know, I mean, why divide everybody up because of their beliefs? Okay. Uh, Some Russian Orthodox right here. Jelen, I mean, that's very French sounding, but must have came here after the Russian Revolution and changed the name to a French surname. So we go down to Lila Pavali, no, pa pa Lavi, yeah, born in 1970. So when she was nine years old, she had to leave Iran. She died in Paris in 2001. She's buried with her mother's mother, or her grandmother on the mother's side, which is uh, Faride Diba. So the Empress of Iran sometimes does live in Paris, but uh, it's quite fitting how her daughter is buried here, even though her father is buried in Egypt. And as you see, like there is the uh, coat of arms of the imperial, uh, uh, you know, imperial seal of uh, Iran. You know, the what would you call it back in the day? You know, Empire of Iran, Iranian Empire, Persian Empire, the Pahlavi Dynasty. Yeah. So she died tragically. She was only like 30, 31. Yes. So. Rest in peace, and I hope you're enjoying your time up there in heaven with your father and your brother. Oh, this must be a famous family too. Uh, Dion de Coste, serves in World War II, I believe, or one. Aviation expert. Um, oh yes, this person, I've heard stories, he flew from France to Dakar and from Dakar to Brazil. So, according to this route map, he flew to uh, New York, he flew to Sudan, or, looks like, or Egypt, yeah, I believe he flew to Iran, and he flew to the other side of the world, maybe, I think that's Russia, Japan, the aviation expert, Les Professionals Navigante de Aviation, so, aviation expert. go to the cemeteries, sometimes I do take a couple of notes about where a certain person is buried. But in today's case, I'm trying to find Emperor Bao's Dai's tomb, and I don't really have the map with me. I forgot to jot down his exact location on findagraph.com, but it doesn't really bother me because I know it's his tomb is quite outstanding stands up from the others. That's how I always tend to find out for those graves. You, if you want to find a famous person's grave, you look for the one that's got more flowers on it. So, I'm getting close. 
but I just want to say that this is quite an outstanding grave. Um, I believe these people must have been from Hungary. I'm not too sure. But, you know, maybe they're famous or not, depends. And for Bella Dies, Tim. But I know I'm on the right path. Excuse me. Uh. Ah, I found it. Here it is. I'm at the grave of the last emperor of Vietnam. Hong de Vietnam, Bao Dai, Hyong Nguyen. Fu Kuo, Fing Yu, Thoi, 1913 to 1927. Sa Majesty Bao Dai, Emperor du Vietnam. Don't remember, Vietnam was colonized by the French. Because actually it was like once part of Siam. But then the French took over, you know, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and the British took over Burma and Malaysia. So here's where an empire rests, an emperor rests in exile. He was forced out of Vietnam just uh, around the time of uh, the, the Franco-Vietnamese War, which ended in 1954. Basically, the communist Vietnamese they saw Bao Dai as a French puppet, and they didn't want, you know, Vietnam to be, you know, a monarchy anymore. So they got rid of them. And then Vietnam was not peaceful again for another t ten, 20 years of fighting, you know. You know, actually, actually, it was 30 years, because you got to remember, like, Vietnam was invaded by the Japanese, and they installed the puppet government, and then the French took Vietnam back, and then uh, Ho Chi Minh fought against the French in 54. All those people who didn't who opposed communism fled to the south to Saigon, to the Republic of Vietnam. Then in 1975, the Republic of Vietnam fell, and that, that's why you got the People's Democratic Republic of Vietnam right here. Like, in current like day. So, uh, his wife actually died recently. He was married to a French woman. And I don't understand why they didn't bury her with him. Or maybe she got re remarried and was buried elsewhere. So, this is another famous person buried in Paris. We've got a former emperor of Vietnam right here. And I visited a princess of the Iranian royal family. Quite a fitting place to be buried here in Paris. This is like the third cemetery I've been to. There's Montepar up in the 18th assortment. Then there's Peel Lockley, which I will be vlogging tomorrow. Very big vlog. Seriously. And and then there's here. But you know, there's all sorts of different cemeteries all over Paris, you know all different faiths and you know the funny thing was if you want to get buried in Pierre Lashley or here you had to be like a resident of Paris you just couldn't or maybe you had to have ties to the French Republic I don't know look it up online maybe it could be worthwhile buying your own plot here in Paisley Cemetery so when you die you get buried in French soil anyway it's Martin Melhead I'm gonna continue on my vlog with the leader I'm over and out Thank <laughs> you.